Alchemists, welcome back to our series on Phoenix Live View. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to work on the actual show view. So as you're looking at a user, you will see them either being updated. Um, if somebody else updates them, you'll see the updates come in. Or if somebody deletes the user while you're looking at them, I'm going to actually redirect you back to the index page. So then you can choose another user to, uh, to look at. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and create the route first. So I go to the router and I want to make sure there's a path at users. And then we're going to do colon with the ID and we'll use a user show. And now if I go to the live section, I'm going to go ahead and create the file for user show.ex. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one. Paste this here. Change this to be user show. Change this to be show. And within here, we're not using session, but instead, because we're getting these uh, from the from the path, we look for path params. And this will be ID and then the user ID. That's what we get when we use this. And the same thing if we're connected, then we're going to subscribe. And otherwise, we set the user. And then we use uh, get user, pass in user ID. And then for this one, what I'm going to do is for the first part, I'm just going to just do a and basically no action when something happens. Okay. And now the next thing is that I want to actually run a test. And in my test, I want to make sure that when you're looking at all the users, that the uh, the link will actually be there. And so we can use a sigil for this. So that way we can use double quotes. So a sigil is just making a way to make this a little bit easier. Um, looking for an href. The sigil will let you add in, use a string without uh, double quotes. So. And we're looking for routes, live path. Now we pass in the con. And we pass in the name of the view, which we just created. So that would be um, hello live view web dot user show. And then we pass in the user. And then let me do this. And we end the link. So now if we run our test, this should fail. Okay. It's pretty easy for us to fix. We just go to our template. User index and let's just use a link function since we already have those from before and we're going to link to routes.livepath uh, we're going to have a socket in this case we're not going to have a con um, and it should be hello live view web dot user show and then we pass in the user. Mm, yes. And end it. And that should be enough. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's 
this one's definitely wrong. Let's see, helpers, index. So that means that something's wrong in here. Two, five, path, socket. Ah, here we go, hello, live view. Sometimes these small little typos really cause a problem, really cause a pain, you know? Let's see, there we go. Now we're passing again. Sorry about that. Now that we can get to that section, now the next thing that we need to do is actually start writing our test for the user show, user show section. Let's create user show test.exs. Okay. Now for our user show test, we're going to be basically, we can for the most part copy what we have um, for the uh, user index, I would say, or at least copy the beginning part, should be enough. Let's copy that. So this is the user show test. And this part is the user show. Let's end this. Okay. Now for this part though, we're going to have a setup, of course, because we need a user to actually show to begin with. And we're going to return a user and we can use our fixtures. User fixture. And now well, the first thing we want to do is test that um, user will show. And we're going to get the con from our uh, live view case. And of course, we're going to get the user from our beginning of our setup. And let's make sure that when we connect, sorry, get the con. Live, live path. When we connect to our view with our user, that we have the username at least showing up. That should be enough to get us started. So let's run our test. Perfect, we have a failure, that's good. That's because we're missing our template. So let's go ahead, let's create our template. Create our show.html. Remember this is live view, so it has to be L-E-E-X. Okay, and let's just create a simple table. In our table, we're going to have a T head, table row. Let's just use a field, the type of field that we're going to show. And then we could just say data for the data. Let's keep it simple. And now we have our T body, and we're gonna have basically let's just do two rows. So let's make sure that the email is there. Let's end that. And then this one should be at user email. And then we can copy this, paste this. This should be the username. Make sure that the username is there. And then we just need to end our T body. And that should be enough to help us to pass. Let's make this go quicker by just testing what we need. View web live user show oh it's actually not a git request sorry it's a live request apologies about that so now if we run our test again there we go that seems to be working just fine all right so now the next thing we want to assert is that we can show an updated user. So if we're looking at it, that they can update. So uh, updated user will show updates on the view. And let's pass in this part. And 
this is super important that we're gonna have to do a live one mm -hmm. and now if we update that user update user let's change their uh, username to new username and let's verify that if we re-render this user They will have a new username. Oh, used to a turkey over here. User dot username. So this user is going to be changed because we're updating from over here. So that's why this should work out fine for us. Now, if you want to test on this, this should fail. That's because we're not handling any updates. Now to handle that, it's not too bad. What we can do, quite simply, is um, if we go to our user show, instead of just ignoring any kind of updates, what we can do is if a user is updated, Actually, let's leave this over here. So this is kind of our catch-all. Actually, let's make this even better. Let's just make this a catch-all so we don't really react to any kind of other messages. If our user is updated, we only care if our assigned user updated user ID and over here we grab the user ID but again this should be ID user ID it's important that you actually have the same variable name across because then this will match otherwise it's just going to be ignored now what we can do into one line. Let's assign the user. And we can just grab the accounts that get user. Make sure there's nothing missing. Okay. So now let's run the test. There we go. Now the final missing piece is that we want to handle if a user has been deleted that we're just going to take them out of the view and redirect them to the uh, index page how we do that it's actually quite simple not too not too bad so a deleted user will redirect to index page of course we need a con we need our user of course so we do the typical grabbing of the user, at least the, the page, right? And now the tricky part is this, is that we want to grab the user's path. And we're going to save that to a variable because we need to, to check it. Um, this is just going to be the path, live path. And the index page is at a hello live view web dot user index. And then we just do our assert redirect to the view. And then we need to grab that user's path and pin it. And we, this should happen when, when we delete that user. Accounts.delete user. And then we can run test make sure it fails good now to handle that we can basically take most of what we have up above over here and we handle the
the deleted case. So this is when it's updated, this is when it's been deleted. And what we want to do over here now is a little bit more tricky. We want to say, um, what would be the best way to say this? We can say, when they're deleted, we want to put flash. It's going to be an error, just to let them know that something really bad happened. But not, not too bad, but just very let them know. User was deleted. And redirect them to live path. And we have to use the socket. Hello live view web dot user index. And we just put the socket here. And then we can go ahead and we can stop what we were doing before. That's all we need to do. So let's run our test, make sure that works. Perfect, great. All right, now the fun part is we actually should try to make sure this thing is working properly. So how we do that is let's use IEX, dash capital X, mix Phoenix server, just so we can page let's go to slash users we have no users so we have to go to slash user new okay uh, test one test one at test.com and let's just use test test with the password and then we go to our user now we're looking at them ID of eight now what we can do is get our user hello my view that counts that get user eight we got that from the URL and we want to make sure that when we delete that user that's they actually get changed over and also the updates too right I need to figure out that let's test both so the first one let's test the update so I'm gonna update their username let's see, make sure this works um, should be okay. User hello view accounts that update user and let's update username to new. Let's change it to new, make life simple. And oops, update user. Ah, I forgot to put the user in there. Just you. And now, there we go, that changed. Now let's try to delete that user. So if I go to delete them, hello my view accounts dot delete user, pass in the U. There we go. I've been changed back to slash users and I was told that that user was deleted. There we go. So this is how you create a simple show view where we can instantly show any kind of updates and also if that resource was deleted uh, we can just redirect them to somewhere else in this case back to the uh, users index page so this is alan from plangora and please subscribe if you haven't and i'll catch you guys next time thanks bye